guys okay so this vlog is totally out of order and it's actually a week after i had filmed the original footage but i wanted to start this video by talking about like new skincare and like beauty stuff that i've gotten in the mail slash have been using that i've really really been loving um because i thought we would just start it off with what we know best okay so this is my favorite mask right now and i normally don't like clay masks because i think they're very drying they're very irritating blah 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 but this avrani glow activating exfoliator mask with uh turmeric honey and neem is so good i have talked about this before on my channel and i do have a code with them i'll link it below i don't remember what the code is but i'll link it but like clearly i had a very intense love affair with this mask it is amazing it does kind of smell like turmeric, which I actually really like because I am South Asian. And so it's like a very nostalgic kind of scent for me. It reminds me of my childhood. It's just such a beautiful mask to like soften my skin. It's like an instant facial in a jar. Like when I use this, I'll use it like if my skin is feeling congested or irritated or just like feels a little bit like clogged up. I'll use this mask for like 10 minutes, usually in the morning actually, before I do my normal skincare routine. I'll throw like a really quick layer of it on. And the other really cool thing about this mask is that it dries super fast, which is really nice because sometimes you just don't have time to sit there for an hour doing a face mask. This dries, I would say within like seven to 10 minutes and then you can very easily rinse it off and be done. It does have like little scrubby particles in it that are like really gently exfoliating. And this just like makes my skin so, so soft. It makes it so glowy, hence glow activating. Um, I've really, really been enjoying this. It is a little bit pricier, but it's 100% worth in my opinion. I did receive this one in PR, but I used my own money to buy another one, which is sitting upstairs in my skincare cabinet because I can't live without this. I bought another one of the Kors Greek Yogurt Foaming Cream Cleanser because I love this cleanser. It's so creamy and it smells so nice. And I actually haven't opened this yet. It's brand new. I just got it from Sephora a couple days ago, but I did want to give it a shout out because this is a cleanser that I've been using for a really long time. And I really love enough to just like repurchase over and over again. It is great for the winter time because it is like a creamier texture. For some reason, I just gravitate towards like creamy cleansers in the winter time and like gel texture cleansers in the summer time but i really like this as far as like daytime moisturizers go um this gel moisturizer from summer fridays has been such a godsend in the hot summer months i'm almost done with it which i'm pretty happy about because it's getting a teeny bit cooler but i'm almost done with it and i've really really been loving this this hydrates my skin and creates a really beautiful like smooth almost texture it's not silicone-y at all but i feel like it makes my skin just plumper and more hydrated and smoother it is super hydrating but it's not sticky it's not tacky it's like not annoying to layer sunscreen on top so this is a really great one i think if you have oily skin you'd really like this if you have like drier skin and you live in a cold climate this probably won't be enough for you but I'm just throwing it out there. I really loved this in the summer months. I do have dry skin, but in the hot, humid Texas weather, this was awesome. Okay, really quickly, two lipsticks that I've been obsessed with. Okay, so right now I'm wearing the shade Secret Salma. These are the Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks. I don't really know what they're called, um, but I loved this one in Secret Salma so much. It's like really pretty, like warm rose color that I bought another one, which is in the shade Catwalking. I think this is actually a new one, but it's like the most beautiful, like peachy nudie color. Oh my God, it's so gorgeous. The formula of these is not super hydrating. It stays put, it feels long wearing. It's like a satin matte finish. It's not like glossy or anything. It does last a long time, but it's not drying the way that a liquid lipstick is, which I like because I'm going through a phase where I can't stand all the lipsticks because my lips are getting really dry now. So these are amazing. Also the packaging, we just admire, gorgeous. The only eyeshadow that I've been using is my own creation. This is the Honoré palette from Kylov, which is my beauty brand. We had to rebrand from Musée Beauty to Kylov. It's a long story, I don't wanna get into it, but look at these colors. Oh my God. This column right here just calls my name when we were creating this palette i was like we need to have these like beautiful like rosy maroon cranberry tones in there because it's just so perfect for fall this this is like a fall palette but it also feels like a spring palette but it also feels like a summer palette so 
it's really such a great universal palette. There are nine shades in this palette. There are five shimmers and four mattes, and it's $28. And if you want to get 10% off, you can just sign up for SMS and email on our website, and that'll get you 10% off this palette. This is a permanent item, but we are running low on stock, and our next shipment of this palette doesn't arrive for at least a couple months. So if you're thinking about picking up this palette, I would do it soon because it probably will go out of stock for a little bit, which is just so annoying, but whatever. <laughs> These shades are so, so creamy and they're so blendable. I'm really proud of our matte formula. I think our matte formula is what we've like really worked on the most because I personally in cosmetic chemistry, like I feel that shimmers are easy to do. Our shimmers are beautiful. They're like shiny, wet looking. They're not glittery at all. I don't like glittery shimmers. They're very just like, sheen like a metallic sheen um but our matte formula is just like really special it's super pigmented but it's very blendable i would say that it's very beginner friendly but also if you're experienced with makeup and you like having really bold pigmented colors to really pack a punch you can do that with this palette and any of our palettes actually so yeah a little shameless self-promotion the honore palette from my brand kylove is um, totally worth it in my opinion. Obviously I made it so I think it's worth it, but anyway. This is so random, but I got this um, little face mist from um, East Saint Laurent Beauty and it's really nice. It's so bougie and it's so expensive. Like I think this is like $36 or something, which is crazy. But if you're looking for just like a really bougie fine face mist, this is the one to get because the mister, I'm not going to do it because it's going to get on my camera, but the mister is like so fine. It doesn't like aggressively shoot at you, which I can't stand in face mist. It's just like so fine, so delicate, so gentle. And what's really nice is that it gives my skin like a really beautiful sheen. It's not oily. It's not greasy. It's just like a sheen, really pretty sheen of glowiness, luminosity, whatever you want to call it. I think it's really beautiful. Oh my god, I didn't realize I had so many products that I wanted to talk about. But then lastly, really quick, this is my new favorite perfume. Not new, because um, I've been using this since like 2017, 2018. Wait a minute. Possibly even 2015. Not sure. But this is the perfume Mongrelan. This is such a beautiful, like, vanilla, warm, gourmand type scent. It's just stunning for fall, winter time. It is, like, sweet. So if you don't like sweet scents, this is not for you. But it smells so yummy and so delicious. Go into a Sephora and smell it for yourself because this is such an iconic kind of fragrance in my opinion. I just, nothing compares to it. It just makes me feel like that like giddy, happy feeling whenever I spray it. I just, I love it. Okay, so now I'm going to stop the camera and I'm going to play the clips from earlier this week when I was vlogging my day-to-day -day life as a self-employed entrepreneur, whatever you want to call it. Um, I do run my own business and I am fully self-employed at this point, so I don't have a nine to five. And so my days look a little bit different every day, but I just wanted to show you what a typical typical day in my life looks like. So let's go. back to my channel let's see I'm drawing my hand at vlogging I don't think this is going to pan out necessarily but I figured I would need practice if I'm ever going to start doing vlogs like entrepreneurship vlogs so so I'm trying my hand at it right now and if it doesn't work you'll never see this but if it does turn out good then I guess you will be seeing this but I think I just decided that I wanted to sit down today and get the camera out and vlog a little bit because I do have a busy day and there's something about if there's like a camera on you you're like so much more focused and productive and i am not playing around this week like i have so much going on there's a lot going on and so i just want 
to be really focused and really productive and if a camera can keep me accountable then so be it so right now we're sitting in my dining room and i actually really want to paint these walls green um there's this really beautiful color by benjamin moore i think called sage wisdom i might be totally making that up but it's a really pretty color it's like a sage green color which i think is really trendy right now but if you look at like the decor of my house and like how it's very like neutrals and warm browns and like aged wood and yeah those kind of tones for the most part um i think sage green would look beautiful in my dining room so i'm thinking about it i'm thinking about it um i've painted some other rooms in my house like my fiance's office is like a beautiful navy blue and then in the primary bedroom we have an accent wall that's like this really pretty like dreamy like denim blue color that doesn't sound dreamy denim blue but it's really really pretty um we just put a rug in too so it's all coming together really slowly i just feel like when you buy a new house it's really hard to like actually furnish everything because you need to like be intentional with how you furnish it you can't just like buy everything all at once also because it's really expensive and also production times for furniture kind of suck right now like they're really really long like it can take four to six months to get like a sofa um fortunately we kept our sofa from all, our old house so we didn't have to buy a new sofa but yeah i've been kind of watching the furniture world because i'm trying to buy like a bookshelf for the primary bedroom upstairs and maybe like a big dresser so there's like not a lot of stuff in stock right now so i have my little planner out and i'm just looking and i'm actually starting my day pretty late it's um it's 10 30. normally i start my day pretty early but today i had a ton of errands to do in the morning like i had to pick up a prescription i had to do some grocery shopping and i had to go to my airbnb to um talk to the pest control guy we started a new pest control kind of service quarterly with the airbnb um so that i don't have to worry about it and i also wanted to install these new curtains that we got in the downstairs Wow, literally not off to a good start, camera died. But anyway, like I was saying, um, I wanted to install some new curtains at the Airbnb, so I installed those, and it looks really cute. It looks like really like fun and fall and cozy. Um, it's like this really beautiful textured navy blue fabric with like white dots on it. It's really, really cute. So basically the reason why I have so much work is because I had to change the name of my beauty brand, which is obviously terrible. <laughs> like it's like, it's not good. So I'm gonna stop rambling. I'm gonna get to work. Like I said, it's kind of late, it's like 10.30, so I have like maybe an hour and a half of productive hours before I get really hungry and therefore hangry. So I'm just gonna get to work. The first thing I'm gonna do is send some emails. I have to talk to our affiliates um, for my beauty brand about some stuff. So I'm gonna do some emails. Y'all, this is literally so goofy, but I can't open the cinnamon. So I got a clamp from my fiance's like toolbox and I'm gonna use some leverage. Oh, it worked. It fucking worked. Amazing. Okay, so I'm going to why is it a mess behind me okay so i'm gonna make my own pumpkin cream cold brew um there is a starbucks really close to my house but i bought this like pumpkin puree so i'm just i'm just feeling it so i have my cold brew here i buy the let's see what is this even called cafe ole by heb cold brew this is a vanilla one this is my favorite one um chameleon cold brew is also really good but this one's way cheaper so okay so i have a jar I'm gonna take like a little bit of the pumpkin puree, like maybe this much, put it in there. 
And then I have this Trader Joe's coconut and almond creamer. This is so, oh no, I'm almost out. This is really, really good though. I'm just gonna add, I'm just gonna finish it actually. And then I'm gonna give this a little stir. And I'm gonna add some cinnamon actually. Hence using the DeWalt clamp to get the cinnamon open. Man, I'm just getting so screwed today with these jars. So like, I have really long nails right now, which I like, like I really enjoy it. And I think, I just feel like very like girly and like, whatever, I feel good if I have long nails, but y'all, I can't do anything with these nails. These are my natural nails, so like they will break. Um, yeah, I like literally can't do anything with the nails. Oh my goodness, that was a journey and a half to get here, but we made it. I'm gonna pop this back on. Make sure it's securely on. The other day, I had a new thing of turmeric, and the little thingy wasn't on all the way, and just poof, it was really bad. And then I have this milk frother from Amazon. I'll link it down below. Um, it's really good, it's battery operated. It's amazing. I'm just gonna whisk it up. This um, coconut and almond creamer, it doesn't get super frothy the way that like oat milk will get really frothy, but it still does the job. Oh my God, it smells so good. And now we're gonna add this. Oh my God, it looks amazing. And there you have a little cold brew. This just completely revived me. I'm gonna be honest with you, I live in Texas, so we don't really have fall, um, which means fall is more of a state of mind. It's not really a season here. So I get into the fall state of mind with like beverages like this. Notice how it's an iced coffee because yes, it is like 90 degrees outside right now. But anyway, I'm gonna take my coffee now. We're gonna go sit outside for a little bit. I think I'm gonna get some reading done. There's this book that I'm trying to finish reading. It's called Venture Deals. It's very like business oriented, but it's really, really, really well written. Um, it's very easy to understand if you're like new to funding and fundraising and startups and all that stuff. So um, I'm working my way through that. So I'm gonna read some of that and then back to work. You ready? Let's go. Did you find a lizard, Pepper? Did you find a lizard? Um, it's like coming up on three o'clock now and I I did get a lot of work done but um, I'm also planning my wedding which is in April of next year so um, I was texting my um, designer basically and she had some new pieces that she wanted me to look at for my wedding reception so I'm actually going to Dallas this week to go try stuff on and see what I like but I'm I'm really hopeful about this one outfit it's so beautiful it's like mermaid vibes so oh it just occurred to me I never confirmed where I was getting married I had you guys guess in the comments and I never confirmed it so I am getting married in Mexico 
I love Mexico. I go there all the time. I mean, living in Texas, like it's a two hour direct flight. So why would you not? I'm really excited to get married there next year. It's gonna be so beautiful and so exciting. It's not gonna be like a beach wedding necessarily because I think Indian people get really fussy about sand and sun and like all that. So it's actually going to be like with the view of the ocean. So not on the beach, but you know what I mean. The weather kind of took a turn. When I was sitting outside earlier drinking my cold brew, uh, it was really sunny and really hot, but it just got really overcast and cloudy, and kind of stormy. I think it actually might be raining. Um, so very cozy in here. I lit my candle. I like have my little sweatshirt on. I have my little puppy in my lap. So anyway, let me check what else I have to do for my to-do list because a lot going on. Well, this is all very exciting, isn't it? Oh my gosh, by the way, look at how beautiful this notebook is that I got. It's so stunning. And then I got another one in like a matching set. I think it's so pretty. It's very like art deco, like art nouveau um, inspired. So really into that, hint, hint. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. This just came in the mail and this doesn't make any sense, but I'll show you where it's gonna go. So basically I created like a gallery wall on my staircase. So this is on the first landing. And then as you go up, you see way more. But this one, came broken. The frame is broken, so the Society6 sent me another one. Yeah, I think it's just super cool.